I want to thank Ripta for giving this opportunity for public comment. Um, I always felt that, that Ripta does try to listen, um, and I don't feel that way at all about the Department of Transportation. Their um, uh, casual disregard of public comment is uh, just shocking to me. Um, the comments that Patricia Robb and Sharon Steele especially made uh, covered many of my thoughts very well. A um, couple of other things. Another person mentioned the security issue. I have been downtown um, at Kennedy Plaza at 11, 11.30 at night and felt comfortable there because there are a lot of people there. That is not going to be the case with these smaller hubs set around the city. So that's a, a big concern for me. Um, people have commented also about the slideshow, the presentation. Number one, where was this information months ago? You know, it's, it's way too late for them to be presenting it. And they're still not presenting the facts that they should. Uh, the example people have given about the slide, about the percentage of people transferring, it's obviously not the picture, not the full data that we need to make decisions about this. I think that's really, it's outright deceit. I don't think it's a mistake. I think it's a, it's deceit on DOT's part. Um, I'm also concerned because of the funding mechanism. I voted for that referendum years ago, and I really do my homework before I vote for a referendum um, on, a, on a ballot. This specific proposal was not mentioned, and DOT's speaker at the um, city council committee meeting a few weeks ago completely distorted that and claimed that this proposal was understood by voters to be part of the referendum uh, funding proposal then. That is a complete distortion, and it's insulting. Um, so I guess that, that covers it. I really hope that, uh, that this proposal goes down in flames and that they come back and do it the proper way, asking true stakeholders, the transit riders, about how they feel and what they feel the system needs. Um, thank you for your time.